Today we're providing an update on Quantum Computing Inc. or QUBT. Hey, we last covered this December 15th at a price of about $6.70. And at that time, it was right about to go on a meteoric rise. Uh, it got all the way up into 20, the $27 range, and now it's cooled off quite a bit. Where are we at with Quantum Computing Inc.? Uh, so remember, all of these quantum type companies are high in innovation. They are disruptors in technology. Uh, and they're really working on next generation computing. So these are the kinds of things that grab my attention and what makes you interested uh, as, as well. What do we have with Quantum Computing Inc? Is it a true quantum company? We'll get to that a little bit more, but what they do have is really two main components that you know about as well. They have a foundry business and this foundry is going to come live uh, a little bit later in Q1 of 2025. So that's not that far away. Uh, they're in prototypes developing things. It's probably very close and we should expect um, more announcements on this uh, soon. First, this is a photonic chip foundry. Uh, so it's really a unique one in the United States. And then there's a couple more throughout, a few more throughout the world. Uh, but it's uniquely positioned, especially in the United States. And this TFLN product that they produce, kind of a thin film lithium uh, niobate, if I said that right. Uh, this is a material that is essential for, for the photonic chip market. So they've got that. They've got a number of orders for that. Uh, as they've, um, it, so things are starting to come together on that front and just it's very unique and it's a treasure right here. The other component of the business besides the foundry is of course they have their quantum machines uh, and a product called Dirac 3, um, which they're calling their, their own entropy uh, quantum uh, machine. Uh, means that they've got their own processor. It's not your traditional quantum type processor, but it's pretty unique and, and it's, it's actually enabled for some very high powered computing. And there's some specialty needs for it. They've actually got a NASA contract for this Direct 3 machine. And there'll probably be many other uses as, as well. Getting back to the company, uh, again, they've gone through a series of cash raises, very important for us. Uh, so they had a $100 million cash raise. Uh, they had a 50 million and then a 40 million. So they've raised $190 million in cash. Uh, this is substantial and this is in December and in January, those months. Um, they say they've got now have got enough cash, half, half cash on hand to fortify the balance sheet and to execute on all their high growth plans. This is fantastic news. Uh, so significant cash, NASA contract, uh, and their photonic chip foundry is almost ready for, for business. They've taken some orders for it already, five to, five to be exact. And remember, the photonic chip market, small now at about 15 billion, will grow substantially, as will the rest of the quantum computing type market. So let's take a look at the fundamentals. So with a market cap of about $1.1 billion and a stock that's just under $8 a share right now, uh, this has had some pretty wild, pretty wild swings just in recent months. So it's it's seen actually 35 cents on the low side and $27 on the high side just in the course of the past year. So year to date, so just 2025, down 52%, which is why we're revisiting this. Say, okay, it probably got blown up a little too high on, on the top side, but has it come down too much on the, on the downside? Uh, one year up over 800%. It had quite a 2024. And then the five year, it's up 245%. Again, that's a great five-year mark by any means. I guess one concerning thing about quantum computing is they do have a high short interest ratio at about 23%. But a lot of, a lot of these companies do uh, have, have higher rates. I, I guess if you're a believer in the technology and some of the, the good messaging that, that we're hoping for, uh, that actually could prov uh, cause a short squeeze and cause quite a pop in, in the share price. So something to, to keep in mind. We'll see, we'll see how that plays out. We already talked about they have substantial cash on hand to execute, so the balance sheet is now fortified. Uh, this is a great thing for an investor to know. And although revenue is tiny at this point, with orders coming in for the foundry, and this is a unique one-of-a-kind foundry, uh, 
the Quantum Machines, this Dirac 3 product that they have more on the way. And of course, they are looking to take their foundry business and this uh, thin film lithium niobate and create all kinds of photon photonic products with that and become essential in the industry and combine that with their ability to make machines, merge, merge those in in the not so near future, not so distant future, you may have a very interesting company. So for me, I do have a small position in Quantum Computing Inc. Uh, I've recently increased that position. I'll probably continue to increase this position over the coming uh, days, weeks, perhaps months. We'll see, we'll see where this goes. Uh, it's this innovation, disruptor technology, and next-gen computing that I want to be a part of, and you may want to be a part of as well. Take a look at it, evaluate it, do some due diligence, and see if it's right for you. And let me know what you're doing in the comments section below, uh, as I think this can be a very interesting ride as we, as we go forward in 2025. Thanks for joining in. We'll talk with you again soon.